six. When he just blew up, I mean, all he saw was smoke and fire. What's left of a small plane remains in the South Lubbock County field tonight. An investigation is underway into why it went down. Good evening, and to thank you for joining us. Christy is in for Karen, who is off tonight. We now know one man, a Texas Tech alum, was killed in that plane crash. It crashed just outside the Lubbock City limits along South Martin Luther King Boulevard. You can see it crash landed in a field east of Highway 87, north of the Lubbock Executive Air Park, which is a small private airport. That's for KCBD News Channel 11's Natalie Falkenberry. Standing by live, we go to her for what we know tonight. Natalie? Well, Abner and Christy, DPS confirmed that 26-year-old Tyler Blake Christie was pronounced dead in that crash. He was the only person on board. According to DPS's preliminary investigation, Christy departed Lubbock Executive Air Park at around 1138 this morning and crashed less than a mile from the runway. The aircraft then caught fire and Christie was unable to exit the plane. Now, this was the scene at around noon today. When we arrived, there was almost nothing left of that plane in a plume of black smoke could be seen for miles. Lubbock County Sheriff deputies, Lubbock Fire Rescue and EMS arrived and put out the fire. We spoke to a man that was an eyewitness to this crash. He tells us what he saw. And I just saw the plane coming right. I thought it was a crop duster and it was coming real low and I barely saw it go over these wires behind us and it spun around and I thought it was going to go down towards the ground spray right and it just slammed straight into the field. And they just blew up. I mean, all he saw was smoke and fire. And right now they put it out, they were getting pointed out, something popped again. And you've seen a bunch of papers fly all over. The investigation of this crash has been passed to the Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board. Both agencies are working to determine what led to this crash. And of course, we'll update you with that information as soon as it becomes available. Abner and Christy. Thank you, Natalie.